So, hello guys, and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to present you, well, the Adam Carter 1.0. That's the top subject of this video, mainly, although I, before I go into that, I would like to talk a bit about uh, the future of the channel, because some stuff happens, of course. If you're watching this, you probably know what I'm talking about. But um, for those who aren't interested in that, that's fine, just skip ahead. Uh, although I suggest if you know the channel and you don't, but I will include an annotation on the screen right now. Normally, if I do not, please let me know in the comments, because then I was an idiot who forgot about that now. Um, as you probably know if you're watching this, I released my town subscriber special last week, uh, the IFS 1, which is basically in a, a, a scalable door concept. It's also flush and seamless and stable, which is a rather, un well, it's a property I coined basically, it's not that important anyway. I just made the name fit a bit better in my opinion. Okay, I'm already rambling, so let's move on. Uh, now, that thing got fairly popular, which is really cool, so thanks everyone for liking it, or... Well, as I always say, if you, even if you don't like it, it's al also good to give feedback, so... But that wasn't really the case, so I guess there's not too much to talk about there. But just for any of other videos, if you have criticism, please tell me. I try to be very open to it. At least that's my goal. In reality, I may not be, may, I'm not perfect, but I try to be at least. That's all I can do. Um, but, yeah, see, this is how my videos go. So, anyhow, you know, my videos are rambly, they are long, and they're probably boring. So, I don't know why you subscribed, but to those who did, thanks. Now, um, this is more like my main videos on my channel, this one. as Except for the channel bit, of course. But I record in one or m most shots. Like, if I have a video with three shots, I usually do that in three takes. Simple as that. Um, I sometimes start over, but uh, in the past year I rarely have done that. I just am getting a bit. I've gone on a bit of exercise, and I usually get the right stuff across with a lot of relevant stuff as well. But that makes the video a bit longer. I don't really care that much about that. So that brings us to the second thing about my videos. They are extremely long, so don't watch them if you want to get some kind of summary. And thirdly. All of my videos are about MC edit filters, which are not meant to be interesting whatsoever. They're just there. So if people in a couple of years, or if Minecraft is still a thing back then, uh, in that at that point, if people in a couple of years need a given filter and they look it up on YouTube, there's actually a video on that. <laughs> interesting. So that's more about building a, some kind of database on YouTube, you could say, rather than actually providing entertainment material. Um, other material, like redstone, that kind of stuff, isn't that entertainment focused either, but just for those who, I guess, are interested in that, so that would technically be entertainment, but they're more informational, anyway. So that would, for example, include my videos about these slamstone contraptions, as well as that door, which people thought wasn't real. Cough, cough. Well, actually it wasn't real when I recorded it. I just, yeah, it took me a month to build that thing. Actually more than a month, one and a half months. But, um, also now I can show everything in my world, yay. For those who knew the channel uh, for the past couple of months, because I had to keep the project secret, I recorded that Renaissance 2, which is awful, but it does work. Um, now, yeah, so you, you already see that this video is going to be going nowhere at this point, so you, you should probably skip ahead to the actual filter, if you're really interested in that. But, um, is there anything else to say? Um, so, if you subscribe, just beware that my videos are lengthy, they're probably not interesting, and you will probably want to unsubscribe within a couple of weeks. Yay! Now, on to my actual video. Well, I guess I'll just go to the rest of this video like normal. Um, if I miss something, well, I don't know. I'll talk about it next video, probably. Um, but that's the way, that way you at least know, kind of know what my material is about. So, up to this filter. Uh, this was suggested by NiceMarkMC somewhere last week, I believe. Uh, and I quickly wrote together. I was working on the editing for the vid previous video, but I said it sometimes. So, and it was actually a really small filter. It's a really simple one. Nothing too interesting, but he asked for it, I made it, he found it useful for it, I suppose, and maybe some other people will as well. So that's why I'm showing it. Now, uh, it's simply called the Iron Counter because, well, it counts items in containers, it's that simple. So right here we've got a couple of different containers. We've got a normal chest, I can show that. Uh, as you can see, normal trapped. Uh, this one is one item, two items, this is a dispenser with four items with eight items. And also I am having I am using some items in the same stack to make it a bit more complex, but this should provide us with enough of test uh, material, I would say, for the filter. So with that said, let's head right into MC Edit. So here we are in MC Edit. Uh, let's just quickly go through this. Uh, here we've got our four containers. Uh, we go to filters, 
the item counter 1.0 should be somewhere in here. Uh, yes, here indeed. Um, right here, the options on the filter are quite simple. There are just five checkboxes, and basically this means uh, what uh, containers you want to include in your count. So if we just include all of them, we will get a total of 15. Also, this is just how it works. It will throw an exception. It's not the best way, but uh, this way it will give you a visual feedback uh, within MCEdit about the amount. Um, it will also cause some spam in your terminal because that's what accept exceptions are actually errors, basically. But yeah, that's just the way it works. Um, so anyway, let's continue. Um, now for the chest and trap chest, I actually don't have separate options. I could have done that using IDs, but because the identities are the same, I just went for a pretty simple bit of code, uh, which doesn't isn't able to differentiate between trap chest and chest. So that's possible, but I would have had to make the filter a bit more complex, and I wasn't really interested in that because most people will probably use this with all flag boxes on anyway. Now, yeah, that's already getting way too long. So let's just show it some other uh, stuff, like, for example, only the chest and the trap chest, that's one plus two, that's three. And the dispenser without a trap chest, that's four. Both of these should be 12, yep. The uh, furnace doesn't matter, so as a hopper. As you can tell, we can just do stuff like this. It should be uh, 11 or something, yep. Now I'm gonna include it again, will be the same. So as you can see, that's kind of working. Um, so yeah, anyway, you can probably would want to run this on like a really large selection, like an entire custom map or something, and that would work. So, because this folder doesn't really have a result except for the visual one right here, I'm not going to go back in Minecraft, I'm just going to end this video right here in MC Edits. But that's something I usually do in my videos, so yeah, for the new, view new viewers. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks to Nice Mark MC for this concept. I know this is a very simple thing, but... I'm currently uh, working for my finals and stuff, mathematics exam tomorrow, I don't have too much time tonight either, so yeah, that's why I'm just throwing these out there. I had the filter already, so I thought let's just spend an hour on something on this and then get back to uh, something that kind of stuff. So anyway, if you liked the video, please leave a like, if you didn't like it, well, I guess leave a dislike, but also please let me know what you thought was wrong with the video. And yeah, maybe I'll improve it, maybe it's just stuff like length where I'm like, yeah, that I've made this, well, commitment you could say to well, not put this on my priority list, but it's always nice to know what you think, even if I don't fully agree with it or I don't think I have the same priorities as you do. Uh, but with that out of the way, thanks for watching, people, and I hope I will see you in another video.